Remember what I said about us having something with our names on it in order to enter and leave Twilight Town and the fact that we still have two more parts left and this is a four-parter? Well, about last part. It turns out... That, well, we didn't beat the freak in the sheet. As a matter of fact, we helped them win! That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We just got Captain ginyu He not only has the Crystal Star, but he has Mario's body and his name. If you couldn't tell in Part 28, he's completely silent when he does his win pose. So, yeah. I have no partners. I didn't get the special attack for defeating this guy. And on top of that, I am up Shit's Creek without a paddle because I will be literally going back to Twilight Town with no partner whatsoever. This is the reason why I told you to keep all of those items if you could. And if you get better ones, by all means, use them. But this is the reason why I told you to keep those items. Because if you didn't, well, your road back to Twilight Town will be hell. I promise you. Oh, and speaking of which, yes, it's time we'll take that Mario and get his map. Well, there's Beldum. With this Super Ball Bomb here, there's no way we could fail. No, not likely. Unless you lose it. Gah. Vivian, hand me the glorious Super Ball Bomb. Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that harm me when I think it does? I never had it. You were holding it two seconds ago. <coughs> yeah, Beldum is stupid in case you're wondering. You said it was too important for me to trust with. You're a terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. Well, you are an idiot, Beldum. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it, you lollygagging worm? Yes, that's exactly what she's saying. No, of course not, Beldum. <coughs> I feel sorry for Vivian. We can't do much without it, so na oh, no, we can't do much without it now, can we? You're such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while Marilyn and I go take a well-earned siesta? You fucking idiot! You're the one who dropped the bomb! And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? <coughs> I get punished. That's right, you little twit, so get cracking! Come, Marilyn, let's leave this useless little fool to her chores. And that'll be the last time Vivian will ever be seen with these two. I feel so sorry for her. Beldam is a bitch. Anyway, we're gonna be out here at Creepy Steeple for a little while, cause I wanna tell you something. The road to hell, which is literally Twilight Road, is going to be hazardous, so I'm gonna be cutting out the backtracking until we get near Twilight Town. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you guys unless I run into an Amazing Daisy. Seriously, folks, what are the chances of that happening? I say that as I'm saving my game, in case I do run into one. Me and my big mouth. Jesus Christ. Of course I'd run into one. Why wouldn't I? Because I'm RV Man. Huh. <sighs> anyway. Let me try to reduce the pain that's going to be inflicted on me by a couple of points. Oh, wait. I forgot to... No, not I forgot to mention. I already mentioned the fact that, uh, Amazing Daisies... Oh, that was stupid. But anyway, I already mentioned the fact that Amazing Daisies can break through defenses. So no matter how high my defenses are, I'm still going to get wrecked. Oh, crap. Oh, thank goodness I blocked that. MOTHERFUCKER! WHY?! WHY?! 
Ah, oh, damn it! Of all the things, you guys are bastards. You guys are bastards. Stop it! Stop it! I'm already dead. I'm already dead. Oh, well, at least I'm gonna get you. Damn it! What are some? Ah, uh, die! Get the thunderbolt! Get the thunderbolt! Ah, <sighs> motherfuck! Oh, you! I! Oh, the the fuck is that? Get! I! Well, after that bullshit, it's time to go to Twilight Town. But wait, what's this? Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. And he just breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, I, can I jump now? <clears throat> Don't you mean I can jump now? And hey, you're so popular around here, I get mobbed. I just love being you! Yeah, it's so cool, I don't think I ever want to stop. Oh, you will, motherfucker. You will, if Part 30 has anything to say about it. Anyway, so you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and name now belongs to me now. You see, I got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really be someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means, you in turn, are a shadow and can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I aim to erase you for good. I guess it'd be unsporting to ruin you without a challenge, so I'll give you one chance. If you can guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now, guess what my name is? Hit me with your best shot! Now, see, here's the problem with that. He further breaks the fourth wall by removing the lowercase p! This douchebag! Seriously, there's your only clue. If you don't know what his name is, unless you actually go through the trouble of finding out his name, it has a lowercase p in it. But, for the time being, you just name him whatever you want. Uh, I don't think douchebag will fit, so I think I better get something that actually will fit the requirements. Uh, no, no, let's try something else. Look, back up a little bit more. I'll put a letter in there, but I'll put a name in there, and it's one that will definitely fit him. Anyway, uh, the thing is, you're not gonna guess this guy's name. Not off the bat, but that's your only clue. Until that is, you actually go into town and find out exactly who this guy's name is. Or into Creepy Steve, one of the two. Wrong among no little nobody. Who's Who named their kid that? Prepare for doom, Slick. I don't even think about running from this valley, you hear? No running. That's your cue to run, because you're not going to be able to beat him. It's an unwinnable fight. Unfortunately, I didn't figure this out until my mom literally told me how to do this. Yeah, she didn't even play the game, but she actually figured it out. So, yeah. That's the whole gist of this chapter. You're basically, uh... Trying to find out your name. Well, actually, more along the lines of... You're trying to get your name and your body from this jerk-off. And in order for you to do that, you will need a new partner. Luckily, Vivian, who just got mistreated like crap, is there. But for the time being, I'm gonna have to try to store this, and wait a minute. Dupree? What is he doing here? <clears throat> oh, wait. In other words, that pig just so happened to be, uh, right there in the store. And he's, in other words, Dupree. So the guy that was out there by the shop key was actually the shop owner. But Dupree and the shop owner is having a brawl, or should I say an argument, and he's threatening to punch Dupree with a ninja punch. 
So right now, I'm going to store the most important items so I don't end up inadvertently using them. And those important items just so happens to be, uh, jamming jelly and an ultra shroom. And something tells me I completely forgot about other items too. But that's okay. For the time being, I'm just going to buy the super shroom just so I can heal myself. If it comes down to that point, I don't need a maple syrup. But I will need this. Because I used my life shroom on the way here. So, yeah. Oh, and I might need the spike pouch, too. I would, at least. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It was a phone call. Anyway, as I was saying, I was going to buy the spike pouch. Uh, nope, nope, not the Thunder Rage. Okay, maybe the Thunder Rage. Because I might need it on the way there. We won't have another incident like that happening now, will we? But I'm also going to go to the end, because at least you'll be able to go to the end. Oh, and if you talk to these three bimbos, I mean, uh, the Traveling Sisters 3, sorry. They'll confirm that they've been pigs too, so, yeah. They picked the wrong place and the wrong time to be there. Oh, don't worry. They're everywhere, except for the last level. Anyway... There's Vivian crying. Oh, poor girl. Even though she's a man in Japan. That doesn't change anything. So let's go help Vivian. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my sister's going to punish me again, even though Beldum dropped it. But it's just not here. So that's what these bushes are for. We basically are going to have to look around, and we're going to find what we need, which is in this bush over there, actually. How the hell is Beldum so damn stupid? Seriously, she dropped it way over there and expects Vivian to find a super bomb in this direction she's at. Oh, thank you so much! Thank goodness! At least I won't get punished now! Oh no! It's broken! So not only did Beldum drop it, she broke it! Poor Vivian! It must have broken when my sister dropped it! What'll I do? What'll I do? I guess it was just meant for me to be punished for life. And even if you bother to uh, help her- No, actually, the nice thing to do is offer to fix it. If you do, she will actually be a little bit nicer to you. So, yeah. That's in order to continue the plot. If you choose something else, she'll just be so, uh upset until you actually talk to her again. Anyway... She gets really shocked at the fact that uh, Mario's name and body has been stolen. And then, he explains further. Gee wish you have way worse problems than I do! And you were worried about me the whole time? That's so kind! Alright, that's it. I'm going to help you get your name and your body back. That's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to stay with my sisters anyway. I feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. It's the right thing to do. And of course she gives you one big smooch and now the best party member in the game has basically joined your team and now my video's glitching. Okay! So, Vivian's abilities, which will definitely come in handy. Handy. Vivian can- I'm oh, sorry, come in handy. Vivian can press X. Well, if you press X, Vivian can actually hide you from enemies. Not to mention, she can also hide you from certain obstacles as well. And you can re-emerge at any time. Vivian can use Shade Fish and you know Shade Fist and Veil, both of which are very effective moves. 
However, Veil will cost to return at the expense of keeping Mario from being damaged, while Shade Fist will burn an enemy. You'll see Shade Fist when I get over to uh, Dupless, but first, we're going to have to use Vivian's new ability to eavesdrop on some crows. <coughs> At least you'll know exactly what these guys are saying. And believe me, these birds have a lot to say, trust me. So, <coughs> let's go listen in on some crows, shall we? But first, let's heal, because uh, my health is really low. Don't worry, I'll make up all the money that I lost. <coughs> now then. Since my health is restored, and so is my star points, let's go on ahead and listen in on some crows, shall we? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful of those crows, man. Those crows aren't loyal. Don't believe me? Ask Jon Snow. For the watch! I'm just kidding. I've been really depressed lately, thinking about the depletion of fossil fuels. Yeah, tell me about it. We've got to come up with a renewable energy source before that happens. Like wind or hydroelectricity. I think solar energy has the greatest potential. Wait, these birds are talking about economic crisis? What the hell? So I was chatting with Rock Beaten Mushroom and Rock Beaten uh, Rock Beaten Mushroom Town on Instant Messenger yesterday. And he said he just got fiber optic on his home network. You believe that? Rad. I bet he's downloading 100 meg apps with no problem on those fat pipes. He's probably surfing the Feather Club for Crow site at the speed of light now. Yeah, it just blows me away that all this information age hype you hear about, and yet it's all games and Feather Lost sites that are driving the technology. Yeah, but I think tech plus survivors can thrive if they get vi viable business models. Wow. Birds surfing the internet? That is something new. <coughs> and when we go to the other screen, it gets more hilarious. But there's one group of crows in particular you need to listen to. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Get back here, Mario. Oh, right. Yeah, you know, just in case another blackout happens, I better save. It'd be the best decision to do. Anyway, let's see what these crows have to say. Alas, this twilight world is too full of pain and contradiction, full of dreams. Perhaps I was only given wings so I could flee from terror mundanely. Wow. Let's listen to these crows. Hey Maude, listen to this. Ronnie, my oldest, is taking his SATs this year. Wow, D these crows even go to college? Oh, is little, is little Ronnie that age? Already? Well, I guess so. If crows are going to college, they're worried about the economy, they're getting cable, but these are the crows you want to look for. So that Mario guy is meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the, ball, the bad guy's name is locked under creepy steeple, I heard. Because, you know, if no one knows your name, then you can use unstoppable magic. But if someone says your real name, then your magic will stop working. Oh, let that sink in, ladies and gentlemen. That's a clue on how we're going to beat the boss. Especially... After what we just heard, we're going to have to go right back to Creepy Steeple in order for us to not only find that guy's real name, but also the letter that happens to be removed from the option of letters to use. So we'll just have to move a little bit further, and here he comes again. I would have done this back in town, but it would look really... No, but it wouldn't have looked really good, now would it? Here we go again. 
So, this is the one who stole your name and body. Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter. Here's the deal. You get your chance, then I stomp you. If you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Well, let's try this again. This is the second time, and of course, I'm gonna have to make it count. Yes, I will have to make the name I come with count. Even though his name actually has a lowercase p in it. Let's see. Oh, and just so we're clear, yes, his name is Dupless, but you can't really spell it out at this point in time. So, instead, just think of a name to give him because of the fact he's making you walk all the way back to Creepy Steeple all over again. And, of course, you're gonna have to run away, and then, afterwards, we'll go to Creepy Steeple. But for the time being, don't even try to fight him. He's pretty much invincible for now. So let's leave Fucktar to his own devices and run away. And away we go! Trust me, you can always run from this guy except for the third encounter. You have to say his name. He must have been hiding there in ambush waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. And we are back at Creepy Steeple. So, instead of going through the front door, we're gonna go straight down the hole. Not only is there a Shine Sprite waiting for us, but there's Buzzy Beetles. So, let's use the Shine Sprite and let's ground pound this bastard here. Sucks to be you! And now, salutations! It was nice knowing you! That was too easy! Now let's press on! Well, we got some coins out of this and... Oh crap! How am I gonna survive this? By jump cutting, that's what! I'll pick this up here and get some coins and get some... Hearts, and voila! Let's also get this! Which is the Tornado Jump! Uh, something tells me I should equip that later on. But for now, I'm instead gonna push this block, and since I got Vivian... Use Shade, and just keep on going. <coughs> anyway, there is a Shine Sprite here. And, of course, a safe block. Now, here's the thing. You're not going to be able to use any Shine Sprites on Vivian until you actually get your body back. Because remember what I said. You need your name on something in order to exit and enter Twilight Town. You can't leave this place until you get your body back. So, yeah. There's no way to do it. Also, turn yourself into a tube and roll in here. And here's where we learn not only the parrot, well, here's where we learn we can actually talk to the parrot, but also what I was trying to say was, here's where we learn Dupless's name. Or at least the guy's name is Dupless. I'll just get rid of this peachy peach, because I don't need that right now. Now then. We'll get this power plug. Yeah, Power Plush Badge. Awesome. Meanwhile, the parrot is pissed off that he's sitting here in the uh, bottom of the steeple. Uh, he's pretty much in by his lonesome just <coughs> guarding Dupless's letter and knowing Dupless's name. However... That's what you're looking for. The person who stole Mario's body. It's name, basically, which is Dupless. I already spoiled it last part accidentally, but that's okay. I want to get through this chapter as soon as humanly possible. And all this for a freaking letter P, which should have been in there in the first place. But, 
It's sort of like Rumpelstiltskin. If you actually guess the guy's name, uh... The person will end up, uh... Killing Rumpelstiltskin. If not, well, Rumpelstiltskin would take that person's, uh... Soul, I guess. But anyway... Since we've got the P, we can now confront that Rumpelstiltskin wannabe. And also, if you talk to the bird again, he'll still rant about how he knows, uh, Duplass' secret. But that's okay! <clears throat> we got what we want. Now it's time for us to leave this place, and we turn right back to the outskirts of Twilight Town. So we could go on ahead and expose the imposter for who he is. An asshole. Making me have to backtrack more than once just to defeat him. Let's move out the way of these ghosts. Shake and bake the ghost and all the booze and just leave the temple. I mean a steeple, sorry. We'll have to come back here eventually, but for now, let's go back to Twilight Town. Alright, asswipe, it's go time. Show yourself! Yeah, I know you've been waiting for me, and I've been waiting for this for a while. You will give me back my body! Oh, I am not about to get erased, punk. Oh, by the way, if you guessed this wrong, you cannot escape this battle. Just thought I'd let you know. Well, wait, I think you can, but... I think when I fought it, I couldn't escape the battle, so yeah. You have to actually spell out his name for real now that you got the letter to do so. And of course his name is Dupless, and guess what happens when you tell him? He freaks the hell out! What? What did you just say? It can't be! No, 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 Why? 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 How? 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 I'm feeling faint! Go mad! Go mad! Oh, but it's too late now, Dupless. I'm gonna be going after you as soon as I go back and heal. Yes, I will go back and heal, and I will save it right now, because... We've got through the worst part, through jump cuts. Why? Cause... The trip to and from Creepy Steeple to Twilight Town is repetitive. As I haven't stated it before, this is the reason why you will be backtracking. And now that we've gotten through all the backtracking, it's time for us to save, and it's time for us to heal or whatever, and it's time for us to finally put an end to this part because the next part, thank God Almighty, we will be leaving Chapter 4. I hate this place so much. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate this place. But it's okay. We're almost done. So the next time we meet, we'll be going one-on-one -on -one with Dupless. And getting my body back as well. This is RFEMAN985. See you guys in Part 2... Well, part 30, actually. Yeah, part 30. We're ending chapter 4! Woohoo!